Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's raining outside and it's a perfect day for a cocktail. So to make my cocktail, I'm going to first need to explain how to make my vodka. So you start with a bottle of vodka. Now I've used this whipped cream vodka. Uh, it says it's a French product. If you can't get this, just regular vodka would be perfectly fine. Any brand is good. Um, probably a good quality vodka would be better and just some Jersey caramels and I don't have any of those here but we all know what Jersey caramel will always look like if you don't um, have a look on Google chop them up finely um, I've got a bottle I'd say this is about six or seven hundred mils and I filled it so probably to about there about three quarters of the way um, with the vodka and then I chopped up my Jersey caramel so they fit through the lid and then just give them a really good shake and um, every so often over about two days just shake it up you know, every half an hour or so give it a good shake just to get them from sticking to the bottom um, eventually this will separate um, as you can see there's a bit on the bottom there white you just shake it up when you're ready to use it and it is perfect so to make this i don't have a cocktail shaker i threw that away and said never need that hardly ever make cocktails now i'm in need of one i'm going to use a jar so i start off with some ice and then I'm going to do my caramel vodka. Normally I make this for two people. So you put um, 60 mils of the vodka into your shaker or your jar if you haven't got a shaker and top it up with some thickened cream. Now I just guessed this the other day when I made it. I'd probably say this would be about 120 of cream. So about four of these. So double the amount of cream per the amount of vodka you've got okay so this will be two standard drinks with the, that vodka in there and then we just want to shake it now the make sure the lid goes on first next thing to do um, is we're going to strain it into our jar now again because this is not a cocktail shaker quick trick use one of your tea strainers so perfectly fits over your cup it's a really good shape the ice helps to make it extra cold and then just pour this beautiful frothy drink into the shaker. Now I might actually try and hold some of that ice back with the lid. So this will pour out a bit quicker. Just pour that over. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Now you could probably pour this into your glass with the ice as well if you prefer to have it like that. But I just do it like this. Oh, beautiful. You can garnish this however you like. I've just got some fresh berries that I'm going to put on the top. Okay. So I think last time I had more cream for the amount of vodka. But you can make it a little less um, strong if you want. Then for my garnish, I'm just going to use a toothpick. Got some beautiful fresh blueberries. Just something that's a bit fresh to sort of break up the uh, sweetness of the drink and there it is there's my cocktail beautiful and if you want a bit of saltiness to it you could add a sprinkle of salt into the mix um, also if you wanted to make this as a non-alcoholic drink as a mocktail you can buy um, Monin salted caramel um, well, it's not the syrup. It's not a liqueur. It's a syrup. It's non-alcoholic. This is a little mini bottle I got from Aldi. They had this awesome pack today. And you get a few different flavors, $20. And um, that would work perfectly well. Not sure how much you'd use. You can experiment. Uh, now that it's done, let's have a taste. Oh yeah, that's good. Sweet, caramel. It's very strong on the whipped cream because I've used the whipped cream vodka, but I can never get enough of whipped cream. Alright, well thank you for watching, have a nice day.